Hello my fellow crafters, Phil here and I've made some romantic personalised bottle cap fridge magnets as a romantic gesture to my wife. These fridge magnets are different from the simple ones that I made in my last video, you see the link here, but they're still easy to make and I had great fun making them. Let me show you how. Right, I've got three sets of photos, all identical, all inkjet printed on my local print on my home printer, but I'm going to treat them differently. I'm going to cover one with sellotape, cover one with PVA glue, and leave the other one totally alone. So I'm going to put these photos into bottle caps and cover them with some resin because I think that's going to look nice and turn it into a fridge magic. Fridge magic and turn it into a fridge magnet. But why am I doing all this? Well, my main worry is that when I put the resin over the top, it's going to make all the inks blur and wash out. So I'll take the first one, easiest one, let's do that. No, get off. Oh, let's go in there. <laughs> Tiny bit on the bottom of mist. How about there? Okay, PVA glue now. Some say dab on the glue to prevent smudging, but I got away with just painting it on this time. An easy way to find out what size to cut the photo to is to find a coin that will fit into the lid snugly and then just draw around it. And then just cut around the pencil line. I then used PVA glue to stick the photos into the caps. This was a mistake. It took far too long to set. In fact, where there was a tight fit with the photo, the glue didn't even set. Later I used hot glue. This was much better. To mix things up, I decided to make some romantic messages. These were printed on ordinary paper and then covered with PVA. These did smudge and bleed a little. Yep, yeah, hot glue is a great improvement over PVA for sticking the paper to the bottle tops. Resin time! I was really looking forward to this. Here I'm using a kit. It's called JD or GD. Uh, I'll link to it below if you want to check it out. And spoiler, I was very pleased with this resin. It was easy to use and finished bubble free and crystal clear. How do I know how much I needed? I filled one cap with water and measured the water. I then multiplied it by the number of caps. This should have been perfect, however I was a little short, so next time I'll add a little more. Mix for two minutes. then poured in just enough to cover the pictures, yeah, about a millimetre or two. Could totally fill the caps but I'm a little tight, I wanted the resin to last for other projects. And leave to dry. Oops, spilled on the mat. 
From now on, I'm using greaseproof paper for protection. Much better. And so, the results. The first row and the fourth row are PVA sealed. The second has no sealant. The third row was packing tape or sellotape. And the fourth row is PVA sealed. The few in the fifth row have no resin at all. These are the ones that were left over after I'd run out. You may not be able to see clearly on the video, but the PVA sealed ones look the best. However, they did all turn out a little dark. I think that's because I'm a muppet and didn't seal the back of the paper too. Finally, the magnets. Found these cheap, small, but very powerful magnets on Amazon. Again, there's a link below if you wish to check them out. Super strong. I did try the PVA to glue them on. That was a fail. I then tried hot glue, that was much better, but where even the hot glue failed, I used super glue, that was perfect. Very strong and instant. Now to show them Lisa. I cut out some large lettering, but what to stick them to? These are far too big for the fridge. Yep, her car. The problem with this was she looked out the window and saw me putting them on. So I didn't get a reaction to it. Bit of a shame. In fact, she thought I was vandalising a car. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see other romantic crafting projects that I make, please subscribe. This is Phil, the Romantic Crafter, saying, draw for now.